Hey, it's Nat here, and I wanted to share something with you guys that I think is, you know, it's kind of deep, it's kind of personal, um, but there's definitely a good lesson here. And uh, it's funny because, you know, sometimes, you know, you look at other people who are having success, and, uh, you know, you think that, uh, wow, that person's really got it all figured out, right? You know, they're making the big bucks, they're hobnobbing with the stars, or, you know, and, you know, you really don't know what it's really like for that person. Case in point, I just got an email from someone and I'm gonna leave their name out uh, just because, well, I think it's the right thing to do. But anyway, this person is someone who I saw, um, you know, in some online forums, he had created some products. Um, I had gone through a couple of the products uh, and, uh, you know, the guy really seemed to, to really have it going on. He really seemed to be successful, was making good money, all that type of thing. Um, had chatted with him on Skype a few times and, uh, you know, I was on his email list, that type of thing, because I'd purchased some of his products. And then all of a sudden, he just was gone. He completely fell off. And every once in a while, I would think, hey, you know, where is that guy? It's kind of weird, you know, that you, like, I heard a lot about him for a while, you know, he had a few different products out and then boom, he's gone. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, you know, whatever happened to that guy? Didn't really think anything you know, more of it or whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden I just got this email. And so anyway, what was interesting, he uh, he opened up and he told a bit of his story and he's a young guy, he's only like uh, 27 now. And uh, you know, basically he was an entrepreneur all of his life and he was very successful with a number of things, uh, got into the uh, online uh, marketing space, started doing some coaching. Uh, released some products, was making a name for himself. He even co-authored a book with a very, very popular uh, marketing guru, so to speak. And, um, you know, was basically on the right path. And then something happened and he didn't really get into it as far as what that thing was, but he started spiraling into depression and he just went downhill and he basically lost it all. Um, I mean, he is still married to his wife or whatever, so I guess he didn't lose his relationship. But by the sounds of things, you know, whatever was going on in his head, you know, the demons were there and he just stopped producing. He didn't make any money. He basically went from, you know, making a lot of money and being really successful to just super broke basically in a very short uh, period of time. And he didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to work. And he was convinced that he was a failure. And it's funny, you know, and a lot of the times we're our own worst demons, right? That, you know, we're very critical of ourselves, whether or not, you know, we beat up on ourselves for being fat or we're ugly or we're stupid or whatever, you know, those kinds of things that we say, you know, and of course, you know, I would say 98% of the time it's all bullshit, right? You know, if, if someone else, you know, were you know to look at you, they wouldn't think that you are fat. They wouldn't think you're ugly. They wouldn't say that you're stupid, but we beat up on ourselves, right? And if you just get caught up in all the bullshit that's going on in your head, then it's really easy to go into this downward spiral that this guy did, right? And I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it too sometimes. I mean, I know that I'm a, you know, I'm a smart guy and all these types of things, but you know, sometimes I just get into a funk and you know, I just start being not, uh, unproductive and that kind of thing, right? And it's just like, it's so mental. And especially when you kind of fall into that rut, you know, you just kind of fall, oh, fall deeper and deeper into that rut. So you just become even, you know, less productive or less efficient or whatever it is, right? And the thing is, all you need to do is just snap out of it and say, hey, wait, I'm, you know, I'm not an unproductive person. I'm not unfocused. I'm not, you know, fat. I'm not ugly. I'm not stupid. I'm not whatever th these things are that you're telling yourselves and just, you know, snap yourself out of it and stuff. And so anyway, um, he, this, this guy here, he's basically started from scratch all over again. And I think what's really interesting, you know, he hired a coach. He said he hired someone that, uh, you know, knows him quite well and uh, maybe knows to call him on his BS or whatever, um, but also knows the potential that he has. And what's really cool is that he, he knows that, you know, it's, it's better to be humble and, uh, you know, be a servant uh, leader. And, you know, and he basically ended his email saying like, how can I help you? Um, you know, I'm here for you, even if you just want to chat or whatever, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, 
but he really sort of looked deep inside of himself and thought, okay, well, why am I here? Why am I here on this planet? Um, and actually, at one point, I should say that uh, he actually was, th he thought the best thing to do was basically to end it, you know, to, you know, to take his life or whatever. And, you know, obviously, thankfully, he didn't do that. But anyway, he's now gone to go launch a new company and he's headed back up and he's motivating himself and he's pushing himself, right? And so, you know, even though he knows that his confidence level maybe isn't where it was before as far as, you know, when he was at his peak, he knows that he, uh, you know, needs to, to never give up. He knows that he needs to, you know, just rock it as hard as you can and just know that, you know, wherever you are right now in your life, that's the part where you're supposed to be. And as, you know, some people might think, well, you know, I'm really struggling right now. I'm not supposed to be here. You know, why is the reason for that? You know, and the thing is, you know, you need to go through these lows in your life to, of course, you know, A, appreciate the high points, but also to, you know, really figure out, hey, look, you know, like, I really need to step up my game. I really need to bring more value to the people around me, the community, my friends, my family, and the world, you know, whatever it is in your situation, you know? So don't get caught up in all the BS that goes on in your head. And you know what? Everyone deals with it, everyone, you know? And so if you look at people, you know, you can think like, wow, that person's really successful, you know? That person really has it going on, you know? wow, I just wish that I could be in their shoes. Whereas, you know, if you did this with, with this guy at that point, you know, where he was in a low, you know, you might not have known that, you know, you wouldn't know that he was battling his demons and stuff. And I actually shot a video a few months ago where I really opened up and I uh, actually talked to some people afterwards um, who were actually really sort of, I don't want to say blown away, but um, were really, I don't know, shocked, I guess, but, or with, what it was that I talked about in this video as far as, you know, where, um, you know, where I was recently coming from as far as the financial state and, you know, where I was struggling in certain areas. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, when they were looking at me before, they might have thought that everything was roses and stuff, right? So I guess, you know, to kind of sum things up, you never know what's going on in someone else's life, right? And so you never want to, you know, put yourself, um, or sorry, you know, try to, you know, be in their shoes because it might be just as difficult or worse for them than whatever it is you're going through in your life. But more importantly, you know, just realize that whatever, you know, imperfections you have or you think you have, just be cool with it, right? Because everyone has imperfections. Everyone has, you know, stupid things going on in their head that most of the time aren't even true. So just get out of your head and focus on your strengths instead of your weaknesses. And really just, you know, give it all you've got in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's, you know, building a business online or working from home or, you know, losing weight or helping people in your community, whatever it is, you absolutely have it in you, but also you owe it to everyone around you to be the best you that you can possibly be. So just know that other people are struggling and other people, you know, have issues as well too. I mean, obviously, but, uh, so get out there and just, you know, give it all that you've got, be the best you, you can possibly be because you deserve it and the people around you deserve it as well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would love for you to, uh, you know, comment below and, and share your thoughts and your comments, uh, in, you know, the post or the comment area down below. And of course, share this with uh, some people that, you know, that you think might benefit from this. So anyway, just wanted to, uh, share the message out there and uh, look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks.